to walk the dog. You ready, Nina? You ready? Let's go. Those nasty mushrooms always show up in the mulch. And then later on today, they'll be gone. It's a very nice day today. Nice meaning it's not raining. It's a little muggy, but it's not too humid. We've been having a lot of rain here in, on the East Coast this year so far. But it could be worse. It could be extremely hot. It could be extremely humid. And usually it is humid. Um, on the East Coast, we have a lot of humidity. And those of you who know, you know. Oh, my shirt? No, honey, you're not, you're thinner than me, not prettier. Clearly it's an old shirt. You see the lettering coming off. But I hang on to shirts like that because I'm a sarcastic person. And I love my sarcastic shirts. Sarcasm is life. Lead the way, Nina. Lead the way. One thing I've never done is walk around this entire neighborhood. I've lived here for five years and I've yet to walk the entire neighborhood. I'm lazy. I know my immediate neighbors, some of them, none of them by name. No, I'm sorry, with the exception of two. One of them is actually my vocal coach. Yes, your girl's been going to a vocal coach trying to get this voice together. I am being tra uh, classically trained because I want to sing opera. I've always wanted to sing opera and I know that being classically trained, if I remember correctly, is one of the hardest singing techniques or vocal techniques. And knowing that if you can sing that, you can stretch your voice to do just about anything. And um, I'm psyched about it. I'm, I, I really love it. I love singing. Um, it's one of my hobbies and I've always wanted to do it professionally, background singing professionally. Um, but I do still want to do voice acting and sing like commercial jingles and stuff like that. But I figure if I can't do that, and I don't know that I can't, but for right now, I got to keep my nine to five because it's providing very well but um vocal training is definitely a hobby and I absolutely love it one day I'll bring you guys along but for now I'm walking the dog hey guys listen I'm gonna talk real quick about this whole mess with Kiki Palmer and her I don't know if they're still together. Um, her boyfriend. I hate saying baby daddy. Because it just sounds so good. So ratchet. Nonetheless, even though that's what it is. But, okay. The whole world is abuzz. Because of the outfit that she wore to the Usher concert. Alright. Was it nice? Yes. But I believe that the corset she won, that she wore, the one-piece corset that she won, baby, that's nothing that you wear outside of the house if you're wearing a see-through dress. And there are people saying, oh my God, it's the same as wearing a bathing suit and a cover-up. <sighs> if you're in a bathing suit cover-up kind of environment, but not if you're at an Usher concert. One. You're in the front row. I'm more than certain you're in the front row. You're a celebrity. So how much more attention do you need to draw to yourself? Was this a get back? 
were you and your boyfriend having uh, a disagreement? We had a quarrel. Were you upset? And was this a get back? Was this something that you really just genuinely wanted to wear? And if that's the case, all right. But why would you choose to wear that? I'm sorry, I'm trying to adjust this head because it's hot. Why would you choose to wear that of all things at an Usher concert? Again, you knew you was going to be in the front row. You know that you're already a celebrity. So you run in those circles. It's not like he chose a random female out of the audience to bring up on stage and dance with. Then you grinding on him a little bit and stuff like that. In my opinion, her boyfriend had a right to be upset with what she wore and how she carried herself. Um, no, it has nothing to do with, you can't tell me what to wear, my body, my choice. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. If you're single, do you. And when I say single, I don't mean by the marital status single. I mean, if you're not in a committed relationship, such as the one she claimed to be in with him, then do you. But if you are in a committed relationship with someone a ro and you're romantically involved and clearly you are, there's a certain level of decorum and tact that you should adhere to. Now, there are also, I've heard people saying, well, you know, he had plenty of time to, to wife her and this, that, and the other. Okay, here's the thing with that. We don't know that he didn't propose marriage. We don't know any of that. What we also don't know is that maybe that wasn't their thing. But what we do know is he didn't have to wife her in order to impregnate her. Who? But I don't know. There, there's just, I don't know. It's a double standard out here because I'm more than certain that there are ladies out here who don't want their man at a strip club. I'm one of them and I'm married. And I'm, I'm gonna be completely and totally transparent. My husband, now this was before we were married, but his cousin came in town and the cousins, the male cousins took him out to a strip club. He's from a different area. So he wanted, he wanted to go to a strip club. So they took him. I was like, oh, okay, cool. My insecurity, initially said cool go ahead but then my insecurity kicked in and I caught an attitude instantly that's unfair because I should have been honest in the beginning if they were having an issue they should have been honest with each other in the beginning again we don't know that they were or were not we don't know if they were at broken up by that time you know what I mean and I brought my issue in to say that that was the double standard I don't want my man to do something like that. So why would people feel that it's okay for him to be all right with her doing something like that? Did I go too far into it? I probably did, but that's all right. We already in it now. We five minutes deep. Um, I don't know. People are, and, and this is exactly the distraction that, that keeps us, the world, going at the rate that we're going. We're so invested in other people's lives and what they're doing that we don't notice anything else around us. So I'm hoping that this buzz will be done by the weekend because I'm quite tired of it. But I definitely wanted to voice my opinion on it. Now it's cold. I definitely wanted to voice my opinion on it. Just give my little two cents. And again, you can ask for change back if you want. But I don't know. It's just, it's, 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 it's a mess. I mean, I couldn't do that to my husband. I couldn't have even done that before we were married. Because if I call myself being in a committed relationship, I'm committed. I'm committed. And it's not a fact of he should have married her first. Because there are a lot of things that should have happened first. But they didn't. We don't know that Kiki Palmer actually wants to be married. We don't know the dynamics of the relationship other than what's being put out there. So, I don't know. I mean, that's my little take on it. I, I think that he had every right to be upset or feel indifferent about how she carried herself. Yes, you're a mom. 
yes, you're, you're his lady, his woman, if you will. And it's not a possessive thing because he's her man. So it's a respect thing. I think it's a respect thing. And if you don't respect the relationship that you're in, then you'll do things the way you'll do things like this. My opinion. I ain't nobody. I'm not in their relationship. I'm in mine. And I don't know. I, I just think it was a respect thing. And I think that she disrespected not only him, but herself. Because again, you could have wore jeans and he would have picked you out of the crowd. You're a celebrity. You're a celebrity. You were definitely, you've already drawn attention to yourself. You're in Vegas. You're a celebrity. I'm sure you have VIP status and you're in the front row. You didn't think he was going to pick you out. You didn't think he was going to see you. And for you to wear what you wore again. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, let me let me throw this in too. I have a dress like that. I have a dress that's sheer, that's see-through like that. However, I wore a full body suit under it. You couldn't see ass. Because that's not for everyone to see. If I wear a bathing suit, you won't see ass. Because that's not for everyone to see. There's a, there's a level of respect. There's a level of maturity hold on my apologies that was my husband calling like I said there's a level of respect and a level of maturity that I believe you should have um, and most people say was well, common sense like my grandmother used to say all sense ain't common so the common cold ain't even common so it's definitely an individual thing we don't know the all of the dynamics of their relationship. And then people are saying that he should go along to get along because, because she, you know, she makes more money or she's more famous and blah blah blah. Okay, listen. This man is not a nobody. Look him up. Look him up. Just because you've never heard of him doesn't mean he's not he's he's a nobody. And if he was a nobody, you really think they, okay, they um, they met at a birthday party or at a party. You really think a nobody is going to run in the same circles as her? Let's put this together. Let's use critical thinking here. Um, let's deduce the BS and just say what it is. It's a relationship that's going through something. There are relationships that have gone through worse with less and have stayed together longer. You know, so again, because they're in the limelight, they're just going through normal stuff. But because they're in the limelight, their stuff is highlighted. And I get it. And again, we just need, have this need to be in the know of what people are going through. I mean, they're, they're going through, they're a celebrity couple going through regular people stuff. That's really it. That's really all. Um, again, that's my two cents. And I put a picture of me in that dress. Like I said, I have a dress like that. But I had on a bodysuit. I had on the same type of corset that she had on. But mine was shorts. You know, like when um, women, when, when y'all wear, <laughs> y'all, when we wear those um, things that kind of keep it tight. I call them husbands because they hug you in the right places to keep you firm up under your dress. I had one of those on. Completely covered. Like biker short length. Like maybe four inches above my knee. Which is still more than a bathing suit. But I'll put that picture in there. But um, I'm riding out today. Going to see my brother. Going to see my daddy. And um, this is just a portion of what I'm doing today just wanted to those thoughts came in my head that mess about Kiki Palm and the regular people stuff that she's going through I just wanted to come on here really quickly and do that so I'll pick the camera back up um, during the next chapter so I'll be back